Hi everyone, I'm Nate Cheddar with Yamaha and this is Blake Angelos and together we're here at Craft Music with the Reface Mobile Mini Keyboard Series. And for a great deal, check out the bundles at Craft Music. So the Reface Mobile Mini Keyboard Series is a very interesting new product we have. They're reimagined interfaces of uh, vintage Yamaha keyboards. And Nate and I have had, uh, had a pretty good amount of time with these new products. And the one thing that, that, that I really feel about these is they are so expressive. They feel great, but the sound quality is just astonishing. For something this size, you'd think, oh, there's no way this could be this could sound as good as it does, but it sounds so, all of them sound so remarkably professional and amazing. They're great for mobile keyboards, but they would be just at home in a studio as well. It's just amazing. Yeah, they're very portable by nature. They run on batteries. Um, they have built-in built in speakers. But like you said, it's a real professional quality instrument. You could take it on stage. You could use it on the studio. And each model kind of does a specific thing. There are four, four models in the series. And the great thing is the control mechanism for, for each one perfectly matches the tone generator that's inside it. So you get this really dynamic instrument you play, like you said, um, and control in, in real time. It's a really great uh, instrument. Absolutely. You know, the other cool thing is that all of the models have built-in speakers. So they're, they're small, but they are pretty powerful, and they sound quite good. I love to be able to just sit in front of the TV. I'll be watching some show and I'll hear something that's really cool. I pick up one of these keyboards and I can immediately start shedding and learning something I see on TV. The, again, the super playable mini HQ or rather HQ mini keyboard action is extremely responsive. It feels great. It feels solid under your fingers. You know, and lastly, they connect to lots of stuff. They connect to external speakers, as you kind of see right here. We have them connected. They have an aux line input that we can hook one into another if we want to. Um, they hook with phones, tablets, computers, other MIDI devices, pretty cool. Yeah, and each one also has a foot pedal input. So we'll talk about that as we go through each, each model, but you can connect a foot pedal to do sustain or volume or that sort of thing as well. So they're really a great little keyboard. So let's take a look at each model. So this is the Reface CP combo piano. It's kind of like having a van full of iconic vintage keyboards uh, from the 70s in this small portable package you can carry under your arm. So as Nate said, CP combo piano. 
The actual Yamaha CP series was released in 1975 with the CP70 and the CP80. Those were used by I mean, U2, Genesis, Billy Joel, Keen, as of uh, late, mm -hmm. definitely. So the Reface CP, or combo piano, features five electric pianos plus a toy piano. So that gives you six different types of sources to, to start from. It also has five built-in effects. And this is kind of like the old days when you had an electric piano, you'd bring these different stomp boxes and stack them up. But they're all built in, and we'll go through each one a little bit later. It also features a 128 note polyphony, so you can play this with a sustain pedal down and you're not gonna get any dropouts. And speaking of the sustain pedal, it's actually a continuous sustain pedal. If you use the Yamaha FC3A available here at Kraft Music, you can get incremental amounts of sustain, so not just on and off, but actual increasing amounts as you play. So it's a very pianistic experience. Like Why don't you talk a little bit about some of the different types of pianos there, Blake? So I have one here called the WR. The WR is a model of a famous uh, reed-type piano that is on countless records. In fact, lately I was just thinking about the uh, Nora Jones record that has a, that, oh, that same yeah. type of instrument on there. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like this. So as Nate said, there are effects in front of me, and one of the effects that was used on this particular piano was the tremolo effect. I can turn that up with a flick of a switch, and I have a depth and rate con control. So that's the WR. Another type of electric piano are the RD. There's two RDs, and these are time pianos. One, the RD1 piano is kind of a more mellow, earlier 70s version. And like Blake said, I've got tremolo, so I can do very uh, wide sort of tremolo things here. Um, reverb, delay, we'll talk about the delay in a minute, and drive. There's an RD2, which is even harder sounding piano, more aggressive sounding. Without it. And if I add some of the other effects, phase shifter was great for the RD, RD2. It was, it was used uh, quite often. Depth bring it up, and speed, so you get this real syrupy sort of sound. So the next one is the CLV. The CLV uses a hammer type of an action that has a very, very distinctive sound. It's really important in funk music, without a doubt. You can hear I have the wah effect that's set right here, and I can adjust that as well. And it sounds like you can get a little sort of overdrive happening with the drive control there. That's right. Ain't it funky now? Truly funky. Truly funky. Another type of piano we have is the toy piano. Um, and I think this is great. You could do all sorts of sound effect type Absolutely. things. There are some, some really cool sound design things you can do. I like to combine it with the delay. We have two types of delay on the Reface CP. One is a digital delay, and one is an analog delay. Let me sh uh, play the difference for you here. So here is digital delay, and I turn up the time and depth. Now if I change the time, now here's the same sort of thing with the A delay or analog delay. 
So you can immediately hear shorter delay times. And you can actually hear the pitch go down, kind of like you have a tape. And you can make it feedback. So even though this is a combo piano, you can do some really creative and inspirational things with the, the, the effects. You just have two simple control and you, you can experiment with it. That's pretty cool. So the last one, you know we're going to get this one right, is the <laughs> CP, the CP70 and CP80. Notice I change the octave, and if I sustain things in a higher or lower octaves, I can change the octave and get the full range of the keyboard. It's really cool that you can do that. So you saw Nate earlier using the delay. One thing that I discovered about the delay as well is when I put it to the digital delay mode and I crank up the time and the depth control, I can start this huge um, just sonic assault of different sounds. I can change sounds as well, and I can change effects, so you get something like this. That's just so cool. <laughs> Here's the Reface CS. CS stands for Control Synthesizer, and Yamaha has a pretty long history of making CS instruments. Yeah, in fact, uh, our 40th anniversary of making uh, synthesizers just happened this year. And uh, at the NAMM show this year, we had one of the greatest analog synthesizers ever made. In fact, by some, some standards, the greatest absolutely is the CS80, which is an amazing machine. 
Yeah, the CS uh, series started in the mid-70s, and the CS-80, like Blake said, was probably and still is one of the most legendary instruments in that series. People like Stevie Wonder have used it. Vangelis is one of the really famous uh, users of it for like the Blade Runner soundtrack. Of course, Michael Jackson, and lots of people use it. These are great, uh, fantastic analog synthesizer instruments. So the CS, the Reface CS here, is a virtual analog synth. But unlike a lot of other synths that are out there, this is a polyphonic virtual analog synth. It's actually eight voice polyphonic. Really cool. Yeah, and the cool thing about Reface CS is you have fairly simple controls, but that doesn't mean you have simple sound. You can get really complex sounds with it, and we're going to take you through some of the sounds you can make uh, with the Reface CS. Absolutely. So at the heart of the Reface CS is the OSC section, which stands for oscillator. That's kind of its basic uh, sound making element. And we have five different types. There's a sawtooth, a pulse, an oscillator sync. Uh, you have ring modulation. And you also have uh, FM. Now. Where this gets really interesting is when you add in the texture and mod sliders. These two sliders do unique things per oscillator type, and it's pretty interesting what happens with them. If I go back down to the saw, so that's just kind of a basic sawtooth uh, synthesizer sound. But if I add in texture, and if you guys, those of you who are real fans of old Yamaha CS synthesizers will appreciate this, this adds a sub oscillator, which is a big part of the CS80, right? If I add in the mod, I get this really thick detuned sawtooth sound. So I get this fat sound and that's great for doing things like, you know, string, uh, string type sounds or pads. You get these really lush sort of, sort of sounds out of that. And you can combine them. And now you have kind of EDM, you know, leads and, 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 and bass style sounds. What other uh, oscillator types do we have there, Blake? Well, we have, we'll take the FM and with the texture and the mod slider, let's start with
Well, I also have filter cutoff and resonance controls as well. It's truly amazing what those texture and mod sliders do. Yeah, that, and the FM was interesting. You were getting almost these real edgy yeah. digital tones out of that. So it's just, it does more than just sort of simple analog sounds. You can really get some complex uh, things happening. One thing I kind of like about uh, this, the CS is the flexibility in the LFO. LFO stands for Low Frequency Oscillator. And it's just a way to consistently modulate different parameters. The LFO section of the CS uh, has four, five different settings. There's off, which is off. off. Yeah, that's why they called it that. <laughs> There's uh, amp. Amp is amplitude. And what amplitude is is just the volume. So if I set this, depth is all the way up. So it's kind of a tremolo-ish type effect. If I go to filter, now that LFO will control the filter. Pitch is pitch, of course. This you can use. I like to use this kind of a vibrato mm -hmm. sort of thing. And then OSC will, will uh, control the OSC parameters, like mod. So you can hear the difference in the, in the, in the uh, sawtooth. Texture is all the way up, so I have my sub oscillator. That one stays the same. If I change it to pitch, they'll both move. But in this way, it's just changing one. So it's real clever in how it can manipulate the sound. And you can get these doing crazy things, for example, ring modulation, right? <laughs> you can get the LFO going so fast that it almost creates another pitch and sub yeah. and subtones. Really cool um, sort of things. How about the EG? Tell us about the EG there, Blake. Well, the EG, you have two types. You have an amplitude envelope generator. This is actually a really good opportunity to use the Reface Capture app. So I can bring up any sound that I want to use here, and I have this one called Longing Pad. It's longing. Oh, I'm longing right now. I had to come up with some name for it, so. <laughs> so with Amplitude Envelope, if I increase the attack, I have more of a. So it makes it slower, softer. Slower, mm -hmm. or increase the release time so it holds. I also have a filter envelope, so if I increase that, it will slowly open up the filter. Very slowly open up the filter. But there's a cool, right in the middle, it does a nice blend between the amplitude and the filter envelope. Yeah, it is. And there are a couple other cool features of the Reface CS. One of them is the built-in effects processors. I think you were yep. using some sort of delay there, and yes. it does have a delay <laughs> setting. Um, you know, the delay, you can affect the depth. And you can, you can affect the rate. And it kind of has this cool behavior as you move the rate in real time. You can get these cool ef effects, but you can make it very... Other effects it has, it has a phase shifter, again, with depth and rate. Chorus slash flanger, as you increase the effect, it will turn in from a chorus into a flanger, so you'll get these more, I call them jet plane-y. Jet I think that's a technical term, that's isn't it? And finally, there's a distortion if you want to... You want some real dirty sounds. Those are the effects types you have. Um, one other cool feature, the kind of the last feature we'll talk about, is the looper. This is a little MIDI phrase recorder that you can use as you know, part of your sound design or to create some, some ideas. It's real easy how it works. You just slide it down into record. 
and it'll start beeping. This is the tempo. The first note I play is gonna be my downbeat, and then when I move it back to play, that's the end of my loop. So I can just create something simple. And now I can still manipulate the sound while this is going. And if I wanted to add something on top of this, I can. Just go back into record. And I can still continue to manipulate the sound however I want. Do it, change it, anything I want. So that's the looper feature on the Reface CS. And one last thing, one of my favorite tricks, I just have to show this, this is really cool. The octave switch, you know, we take it for granted that the octave switch, oh, it's just an octave switch, I'll, I'll just use that. But you can really use this musically, and I found you crank up the delay, you can get this auto synth type thing going, so. Magic land in a video game. It's just the way it responds. It doesn't cut off notes. It, it is. It's yep. like the magic land. You're going to get the prize. That's right. Yes, and the high score. So you should get the high score and contact Craft Music for great bundles and get the Reface CS. <laughs> So Reface YC gives you the complete organ experience in this really compact package. You have draw bars, you have percussion, you have built-in effects, you have the rotary speed control, and you have great organ sound. And this is something typically not, you don't have in an organ, you know, you usually have to have friends to have an organ because right. they're so heavy. But this is a great thing to put it on top of a digital piano when you're, when you're playing a gig and it's, 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 you have all the control and you have the total sort of organ experience. Yeah, that's, so YC stands for Yamaha Combo Organ. The Yamaha Combo Organ was released in 1969 with the AC3 and followed up by the YC series. The YC45 actually was used by Pink Floyd, Tangerine Dream, and many more artists actually. I think the Osmonds used it as well. I that think is true. The you're, you're a big fan, right? That's right. Um, the vintage YC series has now been sort of reimagined with a new interface with Reface YC. So let's take a closer look. So kind of the heart of the Reface YC are the different waves or organ types that are in it. The H wave is an American tone wheel organ. And like I said, you have the draw bar control. There are nine draw bars to control the different ranks of the, of the organ. And you have percussion. And it even has the same sort of behavior you'd expect in this kind of organ. And when, just like in the uh, tone wheel organ, when, when you use percussion, it sort of utilizes the ninth draw bar. So you have that same sort of effect. And this is something that organ players I expect. They want it to behave the way that they're used to. So Reface emulates that behavior. It's really cool. And again, you have rotary speed, fast, slow. There's a stop position that breaks the rotary. And then you can take it out all together.
So very complete sort of organ experience. What other organs are, are in the YC, Blake? So the next organ is Model V. Model V is an English transistor organ that was used primarily in the 60s and 70s, and it has a very distinctive, mellower, kind of a square wave kind of sound, and it sounds like this. <laughs> Turned up the very vintage reverb. Another cool thing, Nate was talking about the, uh, the percussion on the instrument as well. The percussion is different on this one as well, as you can hear right here. So no drawbars, but I have this very unique percussive sound that's specific to this Model V organ. Uh, next up is the Model F organ. This is kind of an Italian transistor and has a different sound again. I, I find it actually pretty aggressive sounding, so... I like to use it with the rotary off. It gives it a really in-your-face sound. You can make your guitar player really mad with this, <laughs> I think. You turn up the... <laughs> but you can kick in the rotary if you want. Or these great shimmery sort of, sort of effect sounds with a lot of reverb. Really cool. You can do a lot of different things with this organ. What else do you have there? Next one is Model A. Model A is a... Japanese transistor organ. It was actually used in a lot of the Japanese monster movies like Godzilla. You can really hear it, so. I love adjusting that distortion control. It adds some grittiness, and it sounds just great. It's like the fire is coming out of the giant dinosaur's right. mouth. That is Megalon. Is, yeah, Megalon, yeah. <laughs> it sounds, wow. The last one is wave type Y, which is a Yamaha YC45. This has a, a different sound yet again, more kind of a hollow, a mellower, almost a church-like. And you can, you can really get a, a variety of tones by messing with the footages. It's, it's really an interactive instrument. Yeah. Um, so that's a little overview of the Reface y, YC. It also has 128 note polyphony, which is amazing. You could do this several times over <laughs> and not run out. And like Blake said, there are re reverb and distortion controls as well. So that's the Reface YC. So this is the Reface DX. So DX synthesizers were introduced in 1983 with the DX7. That was used by virtually everyone in the 80s and is truly an iconic synthesizer. 
That's right, and the technology that powered the DX7 was called FM synthesis. FM stood for frequency modulation. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. But now we have the Reface DX. And the Reface DX can go from those uh, eight sounds of the 80s, the retro 80s, but it's also used a lot in EDM music, cutting edge um, sound, sounds in dance music, dubstep, all, all sorts of modern music. People use it because it makes these really edgy, aggressive sounds. And the nice thing about the Reface DX, in addition to the, the small size and the great feel and everything, is this new interface for accessing the FM. It makes it really interactive. That was always a little bit of a problem with the DX. You edited one parameter at a time. But with this new uh, control panel, you can access four parameters simultaneously. So FM synthesis, it stands for frequency modulation. And maybe we should explain a little bit about what that is. Absolutely. See, before the DX, um, the method of synthesis was really called subtractive synthesis, where you have a bunch of parameters and you kind of take away and you filter out what you don't want. But with the DX7, it was a programmable digital synthesizer, but its method of synthesis was called additive synthesis, truly an additive synthesizer. Right, so in uh, subtractive synthesis, you'd start with maybe a more complex waveform and take stuff out, like you said. Additive synthesis, you would start with relatively simple waveforms, sine waves, in the case of the DX7, and you'd add them together mathematically, and we're being very simplistic just for the sake of a short video. You'd add them together to create mm -hmm. some very complex and evolving and dynamic tones. So that was the sound, and when the DX uh, came out with this sound in the 80s, it really changed everything. It was a sound that people hadn't really heard before. It had a lot of polyphony for the day, so it was an incredibly popular instrument. So here's an example of a classic DX style sound. <laughs> And here's an example of kind of a more modern, aggressive style sound. And here's an example of how you can use the interactive touch panel to change the sound in real time as you play. That was one of the things that I always missed on my DX7 when I had it was just the ability to do exactly what you're doing. Not anything real in-depth to dig in and really do a whole lot of complex editing, but just have a few parameters that can drastically change the sound in real time. That's one of the true benefits that I saw immediately with the Reface DX is just that ability to jump right in and change some powerful parameters to really drastically edit the sound in real time. Yeah, it really becomes interactive. Uh, you, can, you can really change the sound. You don't really have to know too much about it. If you are interested, this is a neat thing about this Reface DX in that the each operator, so that's the basic element of sound, can have its own feedback loop. And you can change the shape of that feedback loop individually for each operator. So that's what I was doing. I was manipulating it between saw and going all the way down to none and then back down to square. And you could hear how the sound would change. This is saw, it's a little more hollow sounding. And you see how I can control all four at once. Here's the saw, and this is a little bit more buzzy, buzzy sounding, brighter sounding. So it's just a way for you to experiment with it. Another cool thing you can do, you can change the frequency of each operator, and this can get you some pretty radical sounds quickly. And this one, starts to take the bottom out. <laughs> and if I change this one, I really can. And I can hold these down. So 
So it's a really great way to interact with FM synthesis, even if it's you know, new to you and you haven't ever experienced before, you can still do stuff. For those who are the hardcore editors, you have all access to all of the panel. You can edit each operator. You can edit all the EGs, all that stuff. It's all here in the Reface DX. And another cool thing we've added is effects. That's something we never had Absolutely. on the DX7. Yeah, that's right. You actually have two effect processors that are capable of generating you know, a variety of about six or seven effects. So distortion, touch wah, chorus, flange, phaser, delay, and reverb. Both effects are identical, so you can have reverb and delay or phase and distortion. That's a great thing, and yes, absolutely something that I missed on my DX7. I had a bunch of external pedals to do all that stuff. Another cool thing that you have in the Reface DX is you have the looper feature. So the looper lets you record MIDI phrases and play them back. So it's a great way you can tweak the sound while it's playing or change the sound completely to a different, a different voice. Um, or you can use it to build up sound. So you can play a little bit of a low, uh, a low part for a bass line, then you can add a chord on top and just capture an idea. It's really easy how it works. It again uses the touch, and you'll, you'll notice the panel changes when it has on-offs. It just puts a little dot so you know to, you know to push that button. So if I hit start, it'll start beeping with that sound. This is the time. So now I can just play a little phrase. And if I wanted to add to that, And it's still going, I can do anything I want on the reface, so I can change to a different sound. So it's a cool way to record your ideas and or ex experiment with the, the uh, currently selected voice. Your groove was so tight that I had to play my favorite lead sound over that. Yes. Dyna. I, I, Dyna lead. Dyna lead. Dyna. Yes, it's a, it's a favorite. So why don't you check out some, some quick voice demos we have on the Reface DX.
So let's talk a little bit about the Reface Capture app, which is a free iOS app uh, for the Reface series. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It allows you to capture basically a snapshot of the front panel and store them. So it's basically like preset memory that works on any iOS device. Yeah, it's pretty cool how it works too. So I have a, one plugged into the CS and this is my uh, Reface Capture setup. And as you can see, all the voices that I've saved show up here and I can even uh, you know, give them names, I can give them, give them pictures, and as soon as I select one, it's transmitted to the Reface. So here's one sound that I have, or here's a different one. Here's another one. And the cool thing is, like if you're playing a gig or you want to categorize things, you can organize these into set lists. Yeah, set lists, you can have multiple set lists, as many as you want, that will be for something like you know, a gig that I'm playing or for a video shoot right now where we want to select some sounds quickly and easily. Another cool thing about this app is you can actually uh, save each voice as a QR code and then send that as an image to somebody so they could scan it with their app and send it into their reface. That's kind of a fun it's thing very to do. Cool. Yeah. Just by hitting this button, it drops me into the camera mode, as you can see right here. And if you had a, a QR, you could scan that, and then that sound would be sent to your reface. Lastly, the Reface Capture app works for all four Reface models, and you can switch between them at any time. So I'm plugged into the CS, and when I change over to the CP here, you'll see it changes immediately, and it pulls up all of my saved Reface CS uh, sounds that I have for different, for different things I want to do. So the cool thing is that if I select any sound, like for example, so this 70s funk one, and let's say Nate wants to change a few things in here. Oh, that's the sound. That's the one I want to capture. I simply hit capture, and there's an icon. It immediately captures it. I go to save, and then I can just quickly name it and say Nate EP. And it's saved right there. It tells me when I captured it. I can even do a cool thing if I want to have a quick demo where I can select a built-in MIDI sequence that's in here and say, oh, I like that. And then I can just simply resave it. It'll ask me if I want to overwrite it, and I'm done. So it's a very easy to use, elegant way to store presets and panel shots of all Reface models. And one other final thing that's cool, you have this little star rating. So you can actually okay. select your favorites. It, since it's so easy to make voices on Reface, yep. you'll probably start to accumulate quite a few. So this is a way to quickly mark your favorite uh, voices that you use. It's only four stars. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, you, you did it. <laughs> okay, it's five. <laughs> okay. <laughs> five stars. Blake Angelos, always five stars, and that's Reface Capture for the Reface Mobile Mini Keyboards. So that's the Reface Mobile Mini Keyboard Series from Yamaha, a great choice for the studio, for the stage. If you want to play in your backyard or you're traveling, they really allow you to create your own sound any place, any time. I'm Nate Cheddar. And I'm Blake Angelos. And don't forget to check out the bundles at Craft Music.